Day 51 of growing our microbial sandbox by adding random stuff and checking it under the microscope every day. The whole bottle looks yellow in color. The antibiotic is actually nitrofurantoin, a type of antibiotic used for urinary tract infection treatment. Let's check whether our microbes are still surviving. I can still see ciliates swimming around. Can you see there is a large vacuole inside the ciliate? It is actually used for storage of food and metabolic wastes. I can see yeast cells inside the ciliates. Actually, yeast is not a good food for them as yeast cells constituted of very thick cell walls which make them difficult to be digested. I can still see many bacteria swimming around. Do you know why bacteria can still survive even their antibiotics inside? I will explain it in a separate video later. Overall, there are different sizes of ciliates observed, which may represent different species existing. Time to add stuff. A gum. Before that, let's check under the microscope first. This large cell is actually epithelial cell from oral cavity. Their nucleus in the middle is clearly seen. And also, some bacteria can be observed. Now add it into the sandbox. Next, glue. I don't know why, it may make the sandbox content more vicuous. Finally, oatmeal. It also contains starch as their food. Let's see what grows tomorrow, see you then. Day 52 of growing our microbial sandbox by adding random stuff and checking it under the microscope every day. I just realized the bottle is too small. I have ordered a much bigger one and it is coming soon. Let us check if our microbes are still surviving. I can only see a few ciliates swimming around. It seems the sandbox is so unstable. Look at this poor guy, it is so lonely. Therefore, I need to do something to revive the sandbox. I dilute it again and I remove the battery which I think is the most devastating. Also, I need to add more natural stuff. I collect some tree sap from a tree hole. Before adding, let us check under the microscope. You can see mold spores of different fungal species are everywhere. Some are darker, some are paler. Many nematodes are found. It seems tree sap is their favorite food. And also, some fast-moving microorganisms are swimming around that I cannot even see clearly. Actually, I also found this dead creature. It is actually a rat-tailed maggot. It will eventually become a hoverfly. Can you see that it has a very long tube-like tail? This tube allows it to breathe air while submerged. Okay, we add the sap into the sandbox. Hope it saves our sandbox. A little bit of protein powder. It contains many essential elements for them to grow. Let us see what grows tomorrow. See you then. Day 53 of growing our microbial sandbox by adding random stuff and checking it under the microscope every day. Yesterday, we added microbe-rich tree sap. Let's see how our sandbox is doing under the microscope. I can already see more ciliates. They are fat and vibrant. They swim so fast I can't even zoom in or follow them. But this is a great sign. It means the sandbox is coming back to life. Time to feed it more natural things and nutrients. Moss. Many of you requested it because water bears might be hiding inside. Let's take a look. First, I soak the moss in water for a few hours. When moss is dry, water bears go into a dormant state. Adding water can wake them up. The water is full of dirt and particles. I can see many microorganisms hiding inside. A rotifer appears again. It keeps sucking water in to catch prey. Some nematodes too. And a few unknown creatures. There's a green ciliate here. It probably ate a lot of algae. Sadly, I still cannot find a water bear today. I spent hours searching. I will keep looking and collect more moss samples soon. A public bathroom door handle? A perfect place to pick up drug-resistant microbes? And also a marshmallow? More sugar means more fuel for growth. See you tomorrow. Day 54 of growing our microbial sandbox by adding random stuff and checking it under the microscope every day. I have prepared a lot of goodies for our microbes today. But first, let's check what's happening under the microscope. Ciliates are still here and going strong. And look, some nematodes from the moss are also wiggling around. Here's a group of ciliates gathering in one spot. Are they a family or just having a party? It's so strange they stick together like this. When I zoomed in, I could see their bodies filled with whatever they just ate. A lot of you asked me to collect water and mud from different natural spots like rivers, ponds, and swamps. So I went out and collected from several locations. Now let's take a look at this muddy water under the microscope. I found a microorganism that looks like a tiny brown leaf. It's actually Loxodes, a type of ciliate that lives in fresh water. They're flat and huge, at least 20 times bigger than the ones in our sandbox. Here's that shell-like ciliate again. It showed up in our sandbox before. And check out this colorful microorganism. I'm not sure what it is, but it looks like it has a diatom inside its body. Anyway, time to upgrade our experiment. I got a big 5-liter bottle ready to go, pouring in the old sandbox first, then adding the new muddy water, and some branches from a random plant I found. I'm keeping the cap off to let it breathe. Let's see what grows in our supersized sandbox tomorrow. See you then. Day 55 of growing our microbial sandbox by adding random stuff and checking it under the microscope every day. I like this new jar, but it is too heavy and I can barely lift it with one hand. The funniest part of microbiology is that the micro population changes over time. Let's see what is living inside now. I found a spirochete-like organism wiggling, but it is much larger than normal bacteria, so it is not a real spirochete. This long thread of algae is called oscillatoria. It looks like it is moving, but it is actually just sliding forward by secreting mucus. I found some yeasts. Are they the baking yeast we added before? Very fast-moving euplotes. Am I the only one who thinks they look like cockroaches? A dead mite. Some mites live in mud and fresh water. Okay, time to add stuff. Blue cheese. It is known to contain Penicillium rochiforti, which is a species of edible mold. We melted it and looked under the microscope. 
I cannot see any intact mold structure, but I do see spores everywhere. The circle objects covering the whole slide are spores. Next, ginger ale. Give them some drink instead of just water. I just realized there is a mosquito larva in the sandbox. Will it survive until becoming a mosquito? Finally, toilet paper. We had germs again. Let's see what grows in our supersized sandbox tomorrow. See you then. Day 56 of growing our microbial sandbox by adding random stuff and checking it under the microscope every day. Looks like microbes love blue cheese. The sandbox is much more turbid than yesterday. Let us take a look under the microscope. The dominant microorganisms today are vorticella. Many of them anchor themselves on debris while a few swim freely around. They really look like microorganism version plants, like the pack and flower in Super Mario. Look, I found a new microorganism, a walnut-like one. You can see two of them sticking together. They are just dividing. Let us add stuff. Many of you want me to add saliva? Although I have added it before, I can do it again. This time, let me show you how our saliva looks under the microscope. You can see many fried egg-like cells. They are epithelial cells from our cheek. Also, many white blood cells with strong intracellular activity inside. They are always ready to protect ourselves from germs. A long thread of bacteria. They are lactobacilli, a type of good bacteria that helps us maintain good health. Spirit sheets can also be found. They look like springs. In our mouth, the spirit shade is usually Treponema denticola, which is strongly associated with periodontitis. Next Oreo, some snack again. And chocolate cake! I think microorganisms won't be allergic to chocolate like dogs and cats, right? Let us see what grows in our supersized sandbox tomorrow. See you then. Day 57 of growing our microbial sandbox by adding random stuff and checking it under the microscope every day. The mosquito larva is still here. Why can it survive in such a harsh environment? Anyway, let's see what microorganisms are growing today. There are lots of algae threads. Around them, I can see long thread like bacteria and many tiny, fast-moving, mysterious microbes. And they seem to prefer living near the algae, almost like they are forming a little community. In some areas, these tiny creatures are so densely packed, it is almost trifophobia inducing A euplod stirs up the water and creates turbulence, making the whole scene even more chaotic. I also spotted other ciliates, like paramecium, a classic freshwater microorganism. Now someone asked me to heat the sandbox to 99 Fahrenheit. So yesterday, I took a portion and placed it in an incubator overnight. Let's check the result. There are lots of clumps, probably caused by microbial activity. Under the microscope, I see many vorticella, like yesterday, and there are lots of small swimmers but I am not sure if they are the same as the ones from our main sandbox. Anyway, we do see a difference, but it could be the heat or just sampling error. Time to add more stuff. Here's a dead fish from my tank. Let's see if any fish parasites join the party. And butter. It is actually rich in vitamins and minerals. Let's see what grows in our supersized sandbox tomorrow. See you then. Day 58 of growing our microbial sandbox by adding random stuff and checking it under the microscope every day. Today, I will test how salts affect microorganisms under microscope. Before that, Let's see what microorganisms are growing today. I thought that rotifers have all died, but today I found one. A lot of ciliates living inside debris. The larger one is Stylonychia. I tend to live in algae-rich freshwater environment. You can see mold hi-fi on the debris. It forms a comfortable environment for other microorganisms to live. Overall diverse and large number of microorganisms are living in the sandbox. The living environment is optimal. One of you asked me to add salt under the microscope. Let's do it. At first, I just add a little bit. I can't believe that these freshwater ciliates can still survive. But actually, it is reasonable. Salt concentration usually affect the water content inside microorganisms. They are capable to obtain or expel water into or out of the cells in certain level. Therefore, I decide to add more. This time, they strank and died. If you have studied biology at high school, you may know that if a cell is placed in a high salt environment, the cell will start losing water. It is exactly what is happening. They lose water and the cells were tore off. Thank you for sacrificing for science. Let's add more stuff. Omega-3. I only have fish oil, which is rich in omega-3 too. Fish food. It is full of a variety of nutrients for microorganisms. Let's see what grows in our supersized sandbox tomorrow. See you then. Day 59 of growing our microbial sandbox by adding random stuff and checking it under the microscope every day. I think it is a good idea to not stir it, but I need to buy a longer pipette so that I can observe microorganisms living in the bottom. Let's see what microorganisms are growing today. Microorganisms keep blooming. I can see at least four dominant species. Stylonychia, Euplotes, Vorticella, and a small unknown ciliate. They concentrate in organic debris. Apart from them, I can see other microorganisms swimming freely. This is Deleptis. This organism is equipped with a mobile proboscis lined with toxic substances that stun prey before consuming them. Let's add more stuff. Flower. Let's look at its pollen grains under the microscope. They look like urchins. Their pointy surfaces help them stick to insects like bees for pollination. Pineapple. Some say it contains antimicrobial substances. I took a portion of the sandbox to test it. Let's see the result tomorrow. Gummy bear. A snack for them again. Moss again. 
I will keep adding more natural stuff. Let's see what grows in our supersized sandbox tomorrow. Day 60 of growing our microbial sandbox by adding random stuff and checking it under the microscope every day. I found many of you are interested in how the mosquito larvae is going on. Do you want me to update its situation every day? Let's see what microorganisms are growing today. The diversity of microorganisms is as rich as yesterday. This time there are more paramechium, a type of most common ciliate living in freshwater. Some describe it as shoes shape, a giant nematode. I found that nematode is more common in the sandbox now. Monostyla. It is also a type of rotifer. It looks like it is standing with one leg. Other microorganisms which were found yesterday too. Remember yesterday we mixed a part of the sandbox with pineapple. I found that most microorganisms died. Almost all ciliates burst. Most bacteria are not moving. But remember this is just a simple experiment. There are other factors which might affect it such as acidity. Seawater. Before that I want to mix a part of the sandbox with some simulated seawater to see if it will kill the microorganisms living in the sandbox. Salmon. Would there be any parasite? Let's see what grows in our supersized sandbox tomorrow.